To make it easier to create and print reports, you can save settings as custom views. So we're going to see how to set that up to switch between those views and also show the name of the selected view on the sheet. Here I have some sales data for three different regions and I'm going to create custom views so it's easy to print each region. I don't need to store any macros in the workbook. This is all done with custom views. The first thing I'll do is create a view that shows everything the way I'd normally want to see it. So nothing is filtered, nothing is hidden, and I'm going to save this as a view. On another sheet called Custom Views, I have a list of all the views that I'm going to create. So this is a list and I've applied a filter on the Data tab, but up here you don't see Table showing up above these ribbon tabs. This is just a worksheet list. If you have a table in a workbook, you can't use custom views. So in this list, I'm going to filter for all, which is what I'm going to name this custom view. So here I'll remove select all, check all, and now this is filtered. Now I'll go to this sheet, and this is the view I want, nothing filtered. And to save this as a view, I'll go to the View tab, click Custom Views, and then click Add. So this one is going to be called All. And I'm going to save any print settings and any hidden rows. And that's not just this worksheet, but all the sheets in the workbook. So it's going to remember that filter that I put on the custom views. And click OK. So that's my first view. And then I'm going to create one. If we look at the list again, I'll clear that filter. Next, I'm going to create one for all the sales in the East region. So again, I'll filter this. So it just shows East. Then I'll go back to the sales data and I'm going to filter this list to just show the sales in the East. Make this column a little wider. And now I'm going to create a new custom view. Click Add. And this one is called East and OK. I'll create more views later, but we'll see how we can switch between the views. So on the View tab, go to Custom Views, and you'll see the views that you've created. So if I click All now and Show, it's going to go back and show me the full list where I have nothing filtered, but on this sheet, it's showing All as the selection. I go back to this sheet and again go to Custom Views, East, Show, and now the list is filtered here and on the other sheet. You can also add the custom view list to your ribbon if you want to customize it and make it a bit easier to work with. The other thing we're going to look at is how I make the name of the view show up in this cell. So I'll go back to the custom views and here's where I'm going to put in a formula that lets me know which one is showing over here. I'll clear this filter so we can see everything. And I'm going to use a subtotal formula. So I'll type equals subtotal, open bracket. And here's the list of all the functions that we can use within subtotal. And I want to use either max or min. I'm going to select max. So I'll double click on that to put the four in the formula, comma, so we want the max of those numbers, and I'll press F4 here to make that an absolute reference. Close the bracket and press Enter. So right now it's showing 5 as the maximum number of this list. But if I filter it and show just East, that is item 2, and now it's the only item over there, so it's the max, and we know that item 2 is selected in this filter. Now to get the name that matches that number, we could use a VLOOKUP or INDEX MATCH. I'm going to show everything again so we can see the full list. And then we'll write a formula here and I'll use INDEX MATCH. So equals INDEX, open bracket, and I want it to look through this list of names. Press F4 to make that an absolute reference, and then a comma, and we'll use MATCH to find the row where the selected number is. So match and look for this number, 
comma. In this range of cells, press F4 to lock that, comma, zero, because we want an exact match. Close the bracket, and another bracket for index, and press Enter. And now we can see that if we've got five selected, it's for the custom view weekend. So now we just have to link this cell to the main sheet. So I'll go here, type equals, go over to custom views, click on weekend, press enter. Now I'm going to select a custom view, so click east, show. Now we can see just east here, and it's showing the correct name. And if I go back and select all, show, it picks it here, and I've filtered this list to show all. So it's using the index and match and subtotal formulas to show the name of the custom view on the main sheet. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.